Oklahoma County voters approved a $260 million bond package to build a new jail. Now, the problems at the current jail are extreme. Nine deaths there this year alone. And today we learned about an inmate on life support who was badly beaten by another detainee. News Force Taylor Mitchell is in the newsroom with more. Taylor. Yes, Kevin. Well, a heartbroken sister is wondering why her brother, Sean Michael Slavens, is fighting for his life in the hospital. She admits her brother's mentally, mental illness has led to arrests on a number of charges in the past. We do want to warn you, the images you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. He was in Oklahoma County on June 25th and beaten by his cellmate and is now in ICU trauma. Um, brain dead. He's got a brain stem injury. Sean Michael Slavens currently kept alive on machines after a beating by a violent cellmate, according to his sister. She tells News 4 adding to her trauma is the fact that no one from the jail notified her about her brother's hospitalization. He's definitely not only a mental patient, but he's definitely been on the streets for a while, too, off and on. He doesn't want to take his meds. Not fully there, but he's got a good heart. He's a good guy. She says her brother has schizophrenia and obsessive compulsive disorder, two conditions made worse by his frequent trips to jail. He's not violent whatsoever. He like he can't hurt a fly. Honestly, I think he was weighing at like 100 pounds. Stephanie says she didn't know Sean was arrested, let alone nearly beaten to death until a phone call from his attorney days after he was hospitalized. So we didn't know until two days, and I went up there on day three to see him. Officials with the Oklahoma County Detention Center confirming there was a fight, saying early Saturday morning there was an altercation between two detainees in a cell. One detainee was taken to the hospital. At this time, it is an active investigation. They definitely have failed. Stephanie is now left with only a few options. They said we can um, put a trach in them and send them to a nursing home at the age of, well, July 26th, he'll be 47. <laughs> Um, or we can just pull what he's got now and see how long he'll make it. But he's no brain activity whatsoever. This is an ongoing investigation, and we will continue to follow it as more information becomes available.